the earth, subdue it, and have dominion. Yeah. One of the signs that you know you have dominion in an area is because the area begins to look like you. Wow. Wow. The area begins to look like you. Right? So if, if that place is walking in the weight, it's going to walk in the weight of you. If that place is walking in authority, that's the authority within you, right? So, the reason why I said that is because the same way the kingdom of darkness releases a glory or a culture or an impact in the earth is the same way that we are supposed to be releasing the same impact. What happens is, um, before we were in, even in our mother's womb, because I keep um, hearing Jeremiah, right? Um, is it Jeremiah? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Um, for I know the plans I have, you said the Lord, plans to prosper you, not to harm you, to give you hope in the future. But there's another scripture where uh, the Lord said, before you were in your mother's womb, I knew you, I called you as a prophet to the nation. Yes. Right? Yes. So that was his assignment, that was his purpose, that was his function. In that purpose, and function, and that um, design that God had for him, um, the enemy does not know your purpose, right? The enemy does not know your plan, the plan God has for you. What he does is study timelines. So he will study your family to see where the weaknesses are. And so when he studies your family to see where the weaknesses are, he will bring the same attack that he brought to your mama, yeah. to your grandmama, yeah. to your granddaddy. Yeah. That's why you see yeah. when um, you have children who you never introduce them to any kind of drugs, anything, but they own drugs, or they alcohol. Yeah. It's because there's something within that bloodline that is faulty. Yeah. And so because the enemy familiar spirit, yeah. I was not planning on going on this way. <laughs> <laughs> It's a lie. No. The enemy operates in familiar spirits. So these spirits have been assigned to your bloodline. And so it follows you. So it knows the weakness in the line. However, when you come back into the kingdom, when you come back into your assignment and the divine purpose that God has called you and God gives you like the second wind, this breath, to begin to restore and re replenish, yeah. to come back into alignment, to be fruitful, multiply, replenish, subdue, and take dominion of an area where the enemy has been used to having his culture right. manifested. Yes. Right? Bless the Lord. So, <laughs> no. so um, I said that because we're going to talk about two ways that the enemy uses, which is there's nothing new in the sun, y'all. That's right. Two right. ways that the enemy uses to stop you from stepping into your purpose, plan, and function, right? Because that's how you reproduce. Uh -huh. You reproduce when you step into and you operate in your authentic purpose, plan, and function that God has called you to. Amen. Now, your purpose, I'm going to give you this quick breakdown. Because people look at purpose like it's a destination, and it's not. That's right. So when you think about like a Swiss Army knife, uh -huh. the purpose of a Swiss Army, when you open it, the knife has so many different yes. parts to it. It has a lot of different functions. Functions. It has a lot of different uh, purposes, right? So you can use it to open a bottle. You can use one of the pictures to, to yes. cut something. Okay? Um, um, that's, that's its function. The purpose... Right, that purpose is for it to be a multifunctional tool. That's right. Uh, if you need uh, to cut um, whatever, or if you need to open a bottle, if you uh -huh. need, okay. Uh -huh. So that's the function. Now the plan is whatever the user right. uh, has for it, right? Mm -hmm. So as the user, God, <laughs> you being the Swiss Army knife, being multifaceted because you're created in the image of God, <laughs> multifaceted. There are several different things that God has for you. When you step and walk in your purpose, that purpose will be the design of what God has called you to do, right? But the way you find your purpose is you look at your bloodline. 
Come on. Now, I'm going to say this. I'm all in, in another place. It's all right. But That's all right. I, I was just ordained as a pastor last week, right? Yes, yes. Woo. That's the My whole life. I said, I'm not going to pass. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so go to Second Samuel six. 